So you don't need an art history degree to appreciate art, but collecting art can be intimidating for those of us without one. So today, Art Collecting 101 with Seattle-based gallery owner Judith Reinhardt. Welcome. Thank you. I love that you're making this a little less scary. Um, anybody can collect art, correct? Yeah, anybody. And it doesn't mean we're going out and buying Picassos. It means that we're no. collecting art. Yes. <laughs> so where do we get started? What would you suggest? So for getting started, it, it comes down to what is your personal style? What is it that you love? Um, spend some time looking at galleries. Go to museums. Mm -hmm. Go check out nonprofit organizations that foster art. And just see things. And if something speaks to you and you start to kind of fall in love with it, that's kind of that indicator of, oh, this is something that, that could be part of my art collection. Um, and everybody in the art world wants to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> if at all possible. Yeah. When I think of art collecting, I immediately think of somebody with a $30 million condo in New York City who's buying modern art, that kind of stuff. But you're telling us we can start with whatever we like at yes. whatever price point. Absolutely. It's all art. It's what we like. Yes, absolutely. So there's a proposition about mm. whether we're buying something because it will increase in value or whether we're buying something because we enjoy it, like it, want to keep it. Mm -hmm. What's your thought on that? I am a fan of buy what you love because you're the one who's going to live with it for you know however long in your life. It, if it happens to increase in value, that's great. Um, <laughs> but buying art in that, in that way, um, you kind of break down that that moment of oh am I buying it just because of the monetary value and the possibility of investment when it's oh it's something I love and then that investment becomes you're investing in the cultural capital of your city you're investing in artists that live and work in in yeah. the city you live in and artisans as well yes. because we're not just talking about paintings mm -hmm. or the things we might typically think of as art collecting how did you get started um, I so I started working in galleries about 13 years ago and I also had the same misconception of anyone who's buying artwork is you know super wealthy very and fancy very, very very fancy and then i was seeing work where i'm like oh i love that i could buy that and so i started saving money and and then i was able to buy my very first piece of art on a payment plan where i paid a hundred dollars a month for the course of six months and then i got to take the piece home and that was um, this little guy tell me <laughs> This so, weird little animal this, yeah, that you so have here. This is a, a, a foo dog by Saya Moriasu, who had an exhibition at the Bellevue Arts Museum in 2010 of over 150 of these little guys. And I just fell in love with him. He was just this adorable little googly-eyed monster. And I loved the exhibition. I loved that it was part of this larger thing. But then now I get to take him home. You have a mine. Piece. Does he have a name? Uh, um, no, he doesn't. I, think I should, should have name him. <laughs> <laughs> He's yours. Yeah. And so, uh, can we give a shout? Shout out to Bellevue Art Museum, by yes. the way, as a place that I think is underutilized, has mm -hmm. great exhibits, cool things going on over there, and I think people sort of forget that it's yeah, there Yeah, it's sometimes. there. We've got great museums and great um, art galleries in, in the Northwest that go see them. And art fairs, <laughs> and where art, we can yes. see a lot of local artists you mm -hmm. haven't heard of yet, maybe you know, getting some pieces that are a real bargain yeah. for the investment mm -hmm. that you're going in. So mm -hmm. we have some pictures from part of your collection mm -hmm. that we're going to show. And I want you to tell us about the items and sort of what you were thinking and how you go about collecting. Yeah, so uh, this little gal on a, in the dress, it was one of those so sweet cute. little things that I saw. It, it was from uh, Gail Gibson's gallery. Um, and it's by an artist named Elizabeth Johnson. And I just thought they were so sweet. And my, my niece had just been born, and I went, I need to honor this moment with this little princess. I love that. <laughs> I love that and the emotion behind mm -hmm. it. There's, there's, there's our friend there's from here. Friend. Um, and so the, the, the ceramic um, dinosaur <laughs> was another thing where it's an it's a artist out of West Virginia named uh, Brett Kern. And he um, makes these slip cast dinosaurs. That they, they're made of ceramic, and they look like a balloon. And I just loved that concept. Contrast and how that's just cool. funny and silly it was, and realizing that's a reason to it buy art. It gives you joy. You, yes, it gives you joy. <laughs> this is a beautiful wall. That Thank you. Put together, and I love the different sized pieces. Mm -hmm. So collecting can go all the way down to things that are pretty tiny. Pretty tiny, yeah. Uh, so this wall probably is, oh, it was about 10, 13 years of art collecting mm -hmm. of um, some big pieces that I had bought over time, some pieces that I just kind of fell in love with and had to get. Um, and I think the the piece, the newest piece on that wall is on the, on the far, uh, uh, the, the far left. Sorry, okay. is a, a piece by Kelly Bjork that was just this very intimate moment that I'm like, I love this, and I was in a position to say I will take it. And her 
show that that was in sold out completely. So I, I like feel it that like you're not overthinking great. it. No. <laughs> it's just, you know, hey, I love it. I want to look mm -hmm. at it. This is also beautiful. Yeah. So this is, I also have a love of collecting mid-century furniture. So this is a piece that I found that I, it, it's this little chest that's just gorgeous and it fit in this perfect little nook in my tiny little house. And it works so well with the, all of the, the paintings are by an artist named, named Kelly Talbot. And I've been collecting her just almost every show she's had. I have to get something. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And what you and end up with is something that you genuinely love. Yes, and yeah. that's, that's what I'm so mm -hmm. happy you're encouraging <laughs> us to do. Thank you. Yeah. You can get more insight into art collecting this Saturday at the J. Reinhardt Gallery in Seattle. Three panelists join Judith to answer your questions. Please visit New Day's website to register for the event and we'll be right back. Thank you so much.